somebody got a visit from the cold fairy. <laughs> Seriously? I don't feel well. I need my baby. You hear that, Madison? Daddy needs you. <laughs> Daddy needs you. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a sick day. Oh, no. No sick days. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. And remember, a happy wife. A happy... Live! I have a Skype interview with this international account, so I have to go. Mm, I'll make you some soup. Estás. Good morning. What's so good about it? Got an appointment today. A special one with a Mrs. Seaman doctor. That's funny. Oh, that's her name. Well, actually, it's Svetlana. But her husband was uh, Russian in his 40s. Had a decent job. Woke up one day with a cough, thought it was nothing, and then dropped dead two days later. Anyway, the, uh, the widow wants to liquidate his medical school skeleton supply business and move on to bigger things. She's a real palm bitch. Get it? <laughs> palm bitch. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> hey, you, you okay? Everything all right? I'm really not sure. Huh. Why don't you uh, lay down in the uh, supply closet? It's dark and quiet in there. I don't feel well. You mind if I... Leave a little early, go to the doctor, get some meds. Oh, no can do, muchacho. Why? Because the Russian, uh, <coughs> Svetlana, she just texted me. She's gonna be here, uh, late in the afternoon. Apparently she's, uh, appraising all of her assets. Can you cover it for me? Oh, I wish I could, but I've gotta go down south and cover for one of the satellite offices. One of the, uh, managers has got sick. Hey, uh, why don't you, uh, go lay down on the, uh, conference table, you know? Get some rest while she, uh, while she gets here. Huh? Why don't you go lay down in traffic, schmuck? I think I might be dying. <laughs> we all are. Every day. Slowly. I could just drop dead, and I wouldn't even know it. I wouldn't be here. How do we even know we're here now? How do we even know we're alive? You know, we could be telepathically looking backwards at ourselves through a wormhole from space. That's it. I'm making a declaration right now to clean living and being healthier. Here, here. I'll choose you. You know I used to bury people for a living. That's right. You hit the nail on the coffin. You know, you could be in perfect health and at the top of your game and still get hit by a car. Or, or an elevator cable could snap. Or your wife could murder you in your sleep with a kitchen knife. And, and after the funeral, we could read about her manifesto on the Facebook. You know, you need to lighten up. I mean, what's the point in living if you're not going to enjoy it? To health and happiness. Health and happiness. How's my sick little patient uh, doing? Where were you? After work, I went to the market, and I went to the pharmacy, and I got you all sort of things to make you feel better. Thanks, baby. I'm sorry I ran out on you this morning. Nurse Amy will make you feel better. Okay.